Did you know that thousands of years before Order 66, the Jedi launched their own purge against the Sith? That's what we'll be talking about in today's Star Wars video. Today's video is brought to you by The Ridge, and The Ridge actually reached out to me to inquire about perhaps a long-term deal between themselves and the Eckhart's Ladder channel. I decided to try the product out, I really liked it. So you'll be seeing some of these sponsored bits for the next few months, just know that it really helps me put out daily content, especially when YouTube's been just a bit weird. So you can see The Ridge wallet compared to my old wallet, and obviously they're night and day. The old wallet is bulky, while The Ridge wallet is made of high quality material and has a much slimmer profile while still being able to hold up to 12 cards plus a ton of cash if you carry that. Ridge wallets come with a lifetime warranty. They have over 40,000 five-star reviews and the Ridge team is so confident that you like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. Right now if you go to ridge.com slash Eckharts and use the code Eckharts at checkout you'll be able to save 10% off your Ridge wallet order and the link to that will also be down in the description. So again massive thank you to the Ridge for helping out and sponsoring sponsoring the channel. Thank you to you guys for being so loyal and making deals like this possible. With that being said, on with the video. All right, we're continuing our Sith week, which is kind of a hard pair of words to say, with a look at the Sith purge that occurred after the Great Hyperspace War. This actually ties in really nicely to some of the other content that I'll be covering this week, so make sure you subscribe if this is the type of thing that you enjoy. Anyway, the Great Hyperspace War was an absolute shock to the Republic. It had been 2,000 years since the last major war and was generally a time of peace and prosperity. That was shaken up by the invasion of the Sith, who were facing off against the Republic and the Jedi for the first time in galactic history. Dark Jedi had existed, but this was the Sith making their grand debut, and they pushed the Republic to the edge of defeat. The Republic only survived because the Sith did what the Sith do and killed each other. So the Republic and the Jedi, perhaps through shock of what had happened, responded extremely aggressively in a way that would change galactic history. I'm just going to read this excerpt from the Old Republic Encyclopedia because I think it does an amazing job of summing up the purges that occurred after the end of the Great Hyperspace War. The Republic was shocked by its near destruction at the hands of the Sith. Acting on fear and desperation, the Republic and its Jedi Guardians resolved to purge every trace of Sith corruption from the galaxy. On the orders of Supreme Chancellor Pultimo, Sith power centers were obliterated, artifacts and dark teachings were destroyed, and the glorious temples on Korriban were buried in rubble. With its legacy in ruins and no clear leader, the Sith Empire was no more or so the Republic thought. One thing you'll notice in this description is that this purge of the Sith was like Order 66 in that not only were the Sith themselves targeted, but so too were every aspect of their civilization and culture. Now, I've gotta be careful when I say Sith, because at this point, the Sith were a distinct species, but there were also Sith Lords, like the Dark Lords of the Sith. Although the Sith species were naturally attuned to the dark side, it was really the Dark Lords themselves and Sith teachings which were being targeted. And in a very dark way, the Republic actually classified this as doing a favor for the Sith species. A codex entry for the Old Republic says, and I quote, the Supreme Chancellor and his allies argued that this was not a battle against the Empire's citizenry, but a necessary necessary step to free the Sith from corruption. It seems like the Jedi and the Republic weren't quite as well, murdery as the Empire. We don't know every detail here. It seems like the Republic went pretty all out in their early counterattacks. There's descriptions of Korriban being bombed and only hundreds of individuals surviving. The difference seems to be after the attack on the major centers of Sith power. At that point, the Jedi may have taken the Sith captive, they may have severed their connection to the Force, or they may have killed them. However, the Sith were also being exterminated by other factors during this purge, the Sith were also dealing with extreme disease, as well as, I'll just call it infighting, we'll get to that in a second, so it's unlikely that any really powerful Dark Lords of the Sith actually survived this era at all. Now, why I kind of got weird there is because one of the ways that a lot of the Sith were wiped out at this point was through a power ritual conducted by the future Sith Emperor Vitiate. Vitiate used what was known as the Ritual of Nathema to kill millions, including thousands of Sith Lords, as a way to extend his life indefinitely. After this, he took command of the remaining Sith forces and traveled over decades to Droman Kos, where the Sith re 
built over the next thousand years. During this time, although the Republic did face off against others who claimed the title of Sith, these were all Jedi who had fallen to the dark side rather than the true Dark Lords, which were thought to be extinct. The surviving Sith under the rule of Vitiate's Dark Council, however, were extremely productive over this thousand years and massed enough power fueled by revenge to openly attack the galaxy. This would mark the return of the Sith and the beginning of the Great Galactic War. The Sith would actually claim Coruscant and would win the Great Galactic War, forcing the Republic into a surrender. This is where things get a little more complicated. We get the plot of the Old Republic video game. I personally get a little less interested. Hopefully that doesn't offend anybody, but you can probably see how the Jedi trying to wipe the Sith off the map destroying their artifacts, their centers of power, their civilization, may have made the Sith a little angry and probably gave them some motivation while they were building ships for a thousand years. But that's all I have for this topic. Again, if you're enjoying this Sithy content, make sure you subscribe. I've got lots more I'm going to cover before Halloween because the Sith are, I guess, sort of spooky. I want to cover Sith war beasts and just generally Sith spawn. We've got some cool stuff coming on the Sorcerers of Rand and other cult groups, and also make sure you check the channel out on TikTok and YouTube Shorts. It's called X Clips on Shorts and Eckhart's Ladder on TikTok because I will be posting some lore shorts there as well. But this is a sponsored video, so let's stretch things out a little bit, give you guys a bit more content. We do have a question from Legends and Theories today who is basically asking whether Jedi slash Sith is a religious group or more like an ethno-religious group. I don't want to necessarily make any comparison to real world groups, but I do think this is a relevant question because of what we were talking about earlier with the Sith. And there was that distinction between the sort of true Sith, the ones who initially found Korriban, they interbred with the Sith species, and thus took the name Sith versus others who were simply Dark Jedi who went with Sith philosophy. So some Sith, at least of the Old Republic and earlier era, would have had a common sort of ethnic identity, but that seems to have been dropped by the time of the new Sith Wars, and certainly by Palpatine's era. I don't think the Jedi really ever saw themselves as anything more than, not a religious order, because I don't think they would describe the Force as religion, but more than just a philosophical order. I don't think they claimed any shared ethnic background. I think that seems obvious. So for the Sith, the answer is sort of, it depends. For the Jedi, I don't think so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, make sure to leave any interesting questions you have down below. Be safe, have a good one, have a nice spooky end of the month, and may the Force be with you.